Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day uh, here in Seattle, and so this uh, video won't be too long. It's about uh, 83 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside, which I think is about 28 and a bit uh, Celsius. Uh, this uh, piece of kit that uh, I have here is a modulation domain analyzer. It's a HP 53310A. Now, the idea behind uh, the modulation analy domain analyzer is to look at how frequency changes with time and let you uh, understand uh, what is going on with that modulation part of your signal. Now, I, I bought this piece of gear. Again, I got it uh, pretty damn cheap from uh, uh, one of the government auctions because I wanted to get something that would uh, uh, count or look at uh, how my 5200A uh, frequency was changing. Because uh, as part of uh, helping out uh, the Def Pom, and if you haven't seen his 18-part epic on uh, uh, his 5200A, I recommend you go watch it. Um, I gave him a bit of data from my one where I fixed uh, the board, the oscillator board. Now, my, well, what we found was that uh, on some of the frequencies, especially at some of the lower voltages, uh, it was very unstable, had a lot of jitter in terms of the, the frequency. And uh, the design of the 5200A is very sensitive to that oscillator being correct so that you get the right output voltage. Um, so I thought, well, I'll get uh, something that will help me look at that. So that's what this thing is. Um, this one here has the high accuracy uh, time base, which is the the venerable, I think it's the 10, 8, 11 a uh, uh, temperature controlled oscillator or oven controlled oscillator. Um, and uh, this also has a, the C channel option over here, which gives you uh, another channel uh, of uh, uh, up to 2.5 gig to go and uh, look at frequencies and how the modulation is going. So let's turn this guy on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this front light here so that uh, uh, we can see the screen a little better. And you can see the concept of frequency over time. So this is uh, boot up and now we're ready to go. So what I want to do is I want to turn on my um, signal source and uh, we'll get uh, a simple frequency out into it. Okay, so I have a 10 meg signal. So we get the default set up and then we'll do uh, auto scale, and this will help it go uh, find the frequency. And here you can see that uh, uh, what I have is a fairly stable frequency um, around uh, the 10 meg line coming from my little Rigol, uh, uh, what is it? It's a DG1032A. Uh, so what uh, I want to do now is actually put a modulation on it. So we'll put a a uh, frequency modulation, and then we'll do auto scale again. And now what you see here is the sine wave of the frequency. So what we're, be what we're seeing, let me grab a, my pointy stick. What we're seeing here on the, the screen is basically this is the frequency that is coming out of the, the unit. So now I can see how uh, that looks. So if we go and type, change the shape of this, you know, that's a sine wave. I can make a square wave. Uh, you know, we can do uh, up ramp. You know, many different types of, uh, of shapes. But basically, what it's looking and showing you is the uh, signal of the, the modulation. Now, one of the cool things that you can do with this, and this is why I wanted to get it, was you can display this as a histogram. And so if I turn this over as a histogram, we can see how the, the signal changes. Now it's taking samples uh, across here, which is why you get that. So what I want to do is I want to turn uh, Accumulate on. And here we can see the classic FM sine wave pattern for modulation. You know, as that sine wave gets towards its peaks or its troughs, whoop, on either side of the, the signal, the rate of change slows down. So you get more uh, samples of, at each of the, the ends. So that's sort of what I'd expect. And if I change the shape of that to say a square wave, what I would see if I turn off accumulate is basically I can see the two lines because the square wave, it's gonna have it jumping to either frequency basically. So that's what this uh, enables me to do. 
Uh, one of the things that I picked up with it as well uh, is this guy here. Now, this is a quick start signal source. And so this is a set of uh, sample signals that can show us stuff on the actual machine. So it was enabled you to get an idea or learn what was uh, going on. So let's take a look at that. Okay. Yeah, so now I'll turn this on. We'll hit preset, we'll do auto scale. And here you can see that we've found the FM modulation signal here. And I could tell that the center frequency is, you know, 620 uh, kilohertz and that it's, you know, going up and down some amount. Now, I can actually get that data by taking a look at peak to peak and we can see that uh, peak to peak is about 100 kilohertz. So what I can do is if, again, I can go over to display, we can put it on the histogram, we can do uh, accumulate and we'll start to accumulate uh, our samples over time and eventually we should end up with that uh, uh, that same FM uh, um, shape as we move back and forwards. So let's go back to preset, auto scale and what I want to do now is to flip the signal type. So we're now going to go to uh, what's called VCO step response and we'll do auto scale again. Now we can see the uh, step as our voltage control oscillator is jumping from frequency to frequency based on its input. Now, uh, what I'd like to do is actually just make that a little bigger so that we can see what's going on here. And now I can see the, you know, quite detail overshoot and, and that. But what I can do is bring on markers here and uh, we can say, okay, with our frequency marker, let's uh, measure the stable signal there. And then let's go take a look at the top of the signal there. And we can see that uh, if I look at the distance here, that we're getting about a 250 kilohertz overshoot uh, on the response as we go up before we sample down. And I can find out how long it's going to take me to, to do that by bringing that guy there and then coming over here to the start of the item. And I can see that in terms of time, it's taking me 111 uh, microseconds to settle down into what would be my frequency. So I can look at the voltage control oscillator um, that is on uh, uh, any device that I build. The uh, drink of the day is uh, a green tea in my Heiko mug. Okay, so the uh, signal that I want to measure uh, right now uh, is the data to clock jitter. And I can do that by telling it that I want uh, the time interval between two uh, signals. So I can say, tell me what the time interval is between uh, what's coming in on A and B. So with that, we now press auto scale. And you can see that what I've got here is I've got a signal which isn't syncing very well. You know, I can get rid of that by turning on high frequency reject. We get a nice uh, uh, signal now is triggering, not on the high frequency part of it. And so I can get some information about, you know, how the, the jitter is happening. You know, it's jumping around about, you know, between 19 and 23 uh, kilohertz. I can get, uh, you know, what's the peak to peak you know, a uh, difference, it's about uh, 30, between 35 and 39 nanoseconds. What this is enabling me to do is to more precisely uh, define what the jitter is so that in a real situation, I could come in and find uh, exactly what, you know, was causing the jitter on my, my system. And, uh, you know, if I was to go over and uh, look at this as a histogram and turn on accumulate, you know, what I would be able to see is where, you know, each of the individual uh, jitter points are coming from. And then I could zoom in and see, okay, is this a Gaussian distribution? Uh, is that a, just a noise or is this coming from some other 
uh, system component that might be uh, swinging across. So that's it. Uh, there's a, a few more things on here that uh, it could do, um, but uh, this is, gives you a basic idea of what the uh, what uh, the modulation analyzer can show you, and the type of information that you can get back from it. Hope you found this uh, first look uh, interesting, and uh, uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch you in the comments. See you later. Bye.